Okay, people, right there is what we're going to be working on that. Remember the brush clearing we posted up there? There's some of that brush area. I guess you're all probably wondering who the hell I am. I'm Joseph. I'm your one-minute construction host. Up there is where we're doing that brush clearing. Over here, we're going to put some mo curb. You'll see what mo curb has, is as we go along. But our first step is we need to cut that and get it under shelter. And that'll be our form board for the mo curb. So what I've done so far is I got this. This is a flexible particle board. It works really well for flexing curbs. You'll see how it works. I'll make sure that it's all nice and square on here and screw it together. And then I will cut it. So let's get it square. We've always been interested in how to make best use of materials. Concrete is particularly interesting because it's a bit misunderstood in that most people's experience is of this grey, massive, um, cold, aggressive material. Our view is that that's a consequence of the process of making it. If you understand in detail how to make concrete, you can make it quite differently. Using textiles as form work it is quite counterintuitive because we're using a relatively flimsy material to deal with a heavy, quite harsh material. The fabric actually has a kind of intelligence. It responds to the pressures that it's dealing with rather than trying to resist and hold everything. It means that we can shape structures and elements into much more efficient shapes. And in doing so, we reduce the amount of concrete we also reduce the amount of steel because the steel is more efficiently placed and that is inherently sustainable. Our studies have shown that we think that we can save about 35% of the, the carbon emissions from the concrete, which is quite a big savings. It's not a universal panacea in that there will always be conditions where one would need to use rigid formwork to make certain things, but for a lot of a, a standard components such as beams, walls, columns, etc., it's quite possible to, to find solutions for most of these. 